President Biden's approval rating diving into uncharted territory with his crumbling agenda at risk. The embattled president standing at an abysmal 39 percent in the real clear politics average of polls. Here to react, Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Joe, what is your assessment here? Is it crime? Is it COVID? The press conference? What's going on? Well, I think this indelible impression, Carly, has been established now. And this is very difficult to reverse. Too many people in this country believe, and this includes more than a few Democrats, that Joe Biden is simply not capable, not competent in doing this job at this stage of his life. And look, the factors on the ground belay that, right? It, it, it's the three steps behind administration, uh, three steps behind on inflation, you know, calling it transitory, it's temporary for months and months in 2021, when obviously that was not the case. Three steps behind on crime, not saying a word about it. In most of 2021, while cities were reporting record homicide rates, murders being at a 25-year high, according to the FBI. Three steps behind on the Taliban, who took Kabul in about the amount of time it takes to order a pizza. And, oh, wow, we didn't think they would get there this quickly. And that was the beginning of the end as far as the president's polling was concerned. And, obviously, three steps behind on a border where, where someone thought it was a great idea to stop building a wall or the Remain in Mexico policy or to invite migrants to come to the country. And the catastrophe we're seeing there is the result. So. It's hard to put the toothpaste back in the tube, as the old saying. It's hard to put Humpty Dumpty back together, as Todd and I know, by telling our kids. Yes. And that's why you see this approval now below 40 percent. And it's probably only going to get worse, quite frankly, Todd. But, Joe, it goes beyond that when you look at the Democrat Party. I mean, they have a real problem on their hands, especially when it comes to rural voters not being in line with what the Biden agenda is. Outgoing Congressman John Cooper from Tennessee basically yeah. raises this point here. Quote, remind me what the strategy is to change the minds of rural voters. Their strategy is blind hope. The Democratic Party in Tennessee is basically facing extinction. So, Joe, why aren't Democrats trying to appeal to that rural voter but instead focusing on only that work, woke, liberal cityite. I, I think, Todd, honestly, they thought they could script this presidency. And when they got to the fall of 2021, they said, OK, this is where we're going to push Build Back Better, $3.5 trillion in new spending on things that have nothing to do with the things we just talked about as far as inflation. In fact, it would only make it worse as far as crime, as far as the border, as far as Afghanistan, as far as education. So they were completely tone deaf. And then in 2022, when they could do a reset, right, a pivot, what do they do? They talk about voting rights and how they have to ram that home because because democracy is at peril. And people are sitting at home saying, you are not in touch with what we're feeling and going through right now. And you seem like perhaps we need to change power in Washington. That's probably going to happen in November when Republicans almost certainly take back the House and probably take back the Senate. And one of the issues facing the Biden administration in a big way is COVID-19. And the head of one of the nation's largest teachers unions, Randy Weingarten, she was on another network yesterday. She said that in order to end masking, uh, there essentially needs to be no transmission in schools. Um, extremely unrealistic. I am sure you have some serious thoughts on this one. Oh, boy. Zero transmission in schools. Look, COVID is not going away completely. It will become an endemic, but it's not going to become, you know, the, the, the pandemic part is, is coming to an end, it seems. But to say zero transmission, it's like saying we're going to have zero transmission of the flu. Right. Schools are overwhelmingly safe. And the fact that Terry McAuliffe bought Randy Weingarten, who you just quoted on stage, as his last speaker before he lost in Virginia, it is a losing argument that almost every parent, even those uh, that would probably vote Democratic and say, wait a minute, zero. That is utterly ridiculous. And Randy Weingarten uh, is not the messenger here that we should be trusting in any way, shape or form, guys. Yeah, talk about not reading the room. Quick correction. I refer to him as John Cooper. His name is Jim Cooper. John Cooper is a hockey coach and a very good one <laughs> at that. His name is Joe Concha. You can't That's call true. him anything else. Joe, thanks, Joe. thank you so much. Todd, he's always got sports Hey, Todd, if you need mind. a babysitter, by the way, I got a guy for Conch, you. Conch, make right? the drive Me. up to Connecticut. He we needs need some you. extra bucks. All right, thanks, Joe. 20 an hour. I come cheap. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.